Hi guys, Olga here, Matt Stamper64, and I want to share two more journals that I created using Steffel Gal's um, tutorial on those fun and easy little journals. Um, I made two other ones and I shared, and uh, and I've made these two, and I have um, two ongoing more. They're, these are going to be gifts. I already sent one to my sis, and okay, the first one is this one here. They're almost the they're the same paper collection because um, I had one uh, one of you know one I'm sorry a 12 by 12 sheets I had two of the same so I used that and a couple of other scraps from um, other collections anyway here in the first one I just tied a bow okay with some seam binding and over here I have some uh, cute little um, Melissa Francis of uh, flowers that I bought at the expo. They were white and I glimmer misted them um, green. Here this is a flower from the dollar store that I get at the dollar store. They come like this. This one's been glimmer misted and what I did was I just pulled it around, pulled it out and I made it flat and then I just put in one of those little um, buckle um, blings with the pearl in the middle that my sister gave me in a rack and thank you sis and this little pearl here Green little pearl here and this little cute little um, birdie that I got all as well at the uh, bridal store that's that really quick because I have two to share then um, this is a little um, white little bag I just distressed it with um, vintage photo and I made a little tag here this tag has a little bit of um, the overlay so you could tuck a picture underneath here. And it has one of those goosebumps little bling that I like to put on and add on. And some fibers. Over here, this here is a piece of packaging that um, I got from Kane Company. Uh, I don't remember what exactly came in it, but I know that I saved the packaging. It was really big. And uh, I've used quite, you know, I used it throughout. Um, over here is a little, a little uh, tag so she could put in a title or date or you know people who are in the picture. Um, this is a, I made this into a pocket and it opens up like this. See, and then I think this is the mariposa um, paper that I had some scraps and then I made um, this is King Company uh, ephemera and I just made a whole bunch of lines for journaling switch over here is one of those um, wild orchid flowers I just you know pulled it apart and made it flat I didn't want it to be too bulky and then I put some trim here that my sister sent me in a rack and this is a dress form that I just cut out and I backed I put some uh, paper on it some designer paper on it here is a hair pin that looks like the goosebump um, little blings that I added in the middle of the flowers. It's just a hair hair pin I got at the um, some dollar store. Thought it was cool, and she could use she could use it to hold this tag or tuck the tag in here and then use this on her hair. <laughs> Whatever. Then this one says one perfect moment it's just and I added I backed it with some uh, um, uh, what is this here oh basic gray uh, paper ledger paper and this was a this is a uh, fancy pants uh, tags um, that I got from uh, scrapbook.com okay then this just this paper I don't remember hmm oh this is um I think life's journey paper so that's that and then here is just a, another tag it was being held by this clip here, the pin there I got this online and over here I made another pat uh, another pocket with oh it come out one of those um, big tags that uh, TT 
New York City, TT Designs New York City. Ingrid gave me. I'm putting them all to use in a little bread there that I got an amazing savings. Over here is a doll, one of those $1.50 um, birdies, chipboard birdies. Okay. Um, here is another little uh, a little envelope. I have it pre-opened already. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this was um, ooh, Imaginese, Imaginese, something like that. And then this is just a little uh, piece of uh, the cutting from scraps and some journaling, a uh, spot for journaling. Okay, here, same thing with the wild orchid flowers. I just chopped it up. Um, I pulled it apart, actually, and I chopped it up. And I put one of those loop bump little um, blingies. And here is a girl that I got from online. Some, I don't know, antique. I think I... I might have um, searched for um, vintage, uh, I don't know, photos or something like that. I don't remember. And then I just, you know, printed, color printed it. That's that. And this is from the paper collection, this envelope I made as part of it. And then here is some more paper scraps. I don't remember the, who it was from. And this here is holding this little um, pin here is uh, from uh, Tim Holtz. It's holding my ribbon. And here I just added one of those uh, Tim Holtz Dodge tickets that um, TT New York Designs New York City Ingrid gave me. And I just did some banners there. And this is the back, guys. And all I need is to stamp, stamp and sign it. So that's that one and then here's this one really quick I just finished this one um, I this flower here is from um, Brooke she sent it to me in a, in a rack right some prima flowers here we go and funny thing is I had glued this one first the cabbage rose but um I love it so much I want to hoard it so I pulled it out and I used another one <laughs> I put some stickles on it and some more of those little goosebump, uh, little um, blings. Oh, this trim here, same as the other one, is my sister gave me, gave it to me in a rack. This is more Maya Road flowers that I glimmer missed it. This is from flowers from the little bridal shop that I go to. Okay, and open it. I have two of those little envelopes. I didn't, on neither of both um, little journals, I didn't title it because um, these are the same. The only thing this one has this here. Okay, I didn't title it because I figured whoever gets it will put a title on it. And uh, here's the spot for two pictures. I don't want to move a lot. Here is the part, you know, part of the paper. Oh, the paper is. Um, my mind's eye, uh, lost and found. Can't remember if it has a name. And then this is a little flower from the dollar bin at Michael's and a little bling and some fibers that I added to the bag. Here I did a little pocket with the paper collection and I did this little journaling spot. I mean, photo mat. Okay. Here I Took one of those tags, folded it in half, and uh, see, I did a pocket here, put some fiber there. This here, um, you can actually uh, remove. This is not glued down. Um, it's acetate, and it's a pocket, and it holds this. This is from the paper collection. I just put some twine. And this is another birdie from the doll 50 bin at Michael's. This is basic gray um, paper. And over here, I added this um, envelope, glassing envelope that my sister sent me in Iraq. That it contains some uh, doodads, the way she calls it. 
and over here is another drawing spot I just thought I needed something there and then you turn it and behind the uh, journal the journaling spot or picture whatever I put another one of these folders and I added a little card I cut it out from some scraps that I had and it said postcard so I thought it was cool okay that's that and then over here I just added you know one of those cane company cameras that um, I got from my sister in Iraq and I did a little space for journaling and that is that then this is another dress form that I cut out you know I traced you know I did myself and uh, yeah so this is part of the paper okay and then over here I added one of those uh, we are memory um, uh, eyelet things um, all over the place here see and I just tied it there to tie it that you guys is my quick share hope you like it um leave a comment if you like have a good day bye